Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from an annual fall tradition, Pumpkinville at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City. This event is so much fun, but it's also short-lived. This is the last weekend to check it out. The Myriad Gardens is located in the heart of downtown Oklahoma City. Each year, families or groups of friends can explore the imaginative displays of pumpkins, gourds, haystacks, and mums. This year's theme is the Land of Oz, but hurry if you want to see it. Everything closes October 24th. These seasonal events really are so much fun. But it's year-round locations that give us all a chance to explore. And one place you have to explore, you have to check out this place, it's the Ben Johnson Cowboy Museum in Pahuska. Ben Johnson was a cowboy's cowboy, and visiting the Ben Johnson Cowboy Museum reveals several facts of which most people may not be aware. Yes, you can learn much about the Pahuska native and Academy Award winner Ben Johnson, but did you know he was also a world champion team roper? Not only that, his dad was a world champion, 1922 world champion steer roper. Of course, Ben followed in his footsteps, won the 1953 World Champion Team Roping, and we have his saddle here from that World Championship. We have his Hollywood Walk of Fame Award. We have several awards, lots and lots of memorabilia. Another element about this museum I like is everybody and everything has a tie to Osage County, a place people call the world's greatest cowboy country. We have over 25 World Champion Cowboys and Cowgirls from every single discipline in rodeo and equine sports. You know, not just rodeo, we got horse racers, we got uh, polo players, you know, you name it, National Cutting Horse Association World Champions. And when people go through the museum, they are impressed on many levels. Well, they can't believe this many cowboys and cowgirls that are that successful came from one area right here. You know, there's not a place in Texas that, that, that has this many concentrated, you know, throughout the years. So it's a really, really special place. A place that is brimming and overflowing with fascinating history a lot of history of Oklahoma and a lot of people that are truly famous. I mean, back in their day, they, they did amazing things. <laughs> One of them is Jim Snively. He will be inducted into the Cowboy Hall and Western Heritage Museum in the rodeo category soon. This is his grandson, Jimbo, who comes to the museum often. Osage County has an unbelievable tradition of champion cowboys and rodeo performers and, and cowgirls too. And uh, about two years ago, Cody and Lauren opened this museum and it was all to keep the memory alive of those great champions before them. The kids love getting on the horse back there. All the kids love getting on the horse, trying to rope the cow. It's, uh, you know, we may have found some people that found some hidden talent back there through the days. You want a fun photo opportunity? Well, you can get your picture on their buffalo named Bone Skillet. As you browse through, you will also find a wide assortment of incredible works from the area who are world-renowned Western artists. One of them we highlight pretty big is the Free Family, John D. Free, National Award of Western Art Twice winner. We have all his bronzes on display in here. We have all his paintings on display in here. We also got Jim Hamilton. He was a world-class, world-renowned bronze artist. We have Jay Adcock in the back. He's a member of the TCA, Traditional Cowboy Artist of America. He's a rawhide braider. And before you leave, you have to check out the very good gift shop. This is one of the most amazing places in northeastern Oklahoma, in all the state of Oklahoma. There's a lot of women in rodeo that have, have won world championships, and they compete, you know, equally with, you know, the, each other. And so we also are very proud to have some of those people that have come from Osage County, from Pahuska, that have gone on to be world champions. And much like Ben Johnson himself, who was a champion on many levels to so many people, the museum bearing his name is straightforward, honest, truthful, and respectful. We have something for your kids. We have something for your parents. We have something for you right here. You're going to leave loving this place a little bit more than when you came. The Ben Johnson Cowboy Museum can be found at 201 East 6th Street in Pawhuska. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Check out their website for information on tickets. We're going to be sticking around Northeast Oklahoma for our next story because there is so much history to explore. Jason Grubbs takes us to a place where you can explore all of the famous people and historic artifacts of Claremore. What was once the Will Rogers Library is now home to the Claremore Museum of History. Will is in here, of course, as well as many others who've helped put this Northeast Oklahoma town on the map. It was started just a few years ago by some passionate residents. They noticed a need. 
uh, that there was all of this really amazing history here and there wasn't anywhere to really educate about it and really uh, involve the community in that history. Follow a timeline of Claremore, from Native Americans to the town's first railroad. Its history includes radium water bathhouses. If you were to go to Hot Springs, you would bathe in a bathhouse. Uh, we had rows of bathhouses here in Claremore. Back then, people thought it would cure their ailments, among them a princess. People would come from all over just to, to bathe in this water. From the neighboring community of Foyle came Andy Payne. His story and jersey are in here. Andy Payne ran the Bunyan Derby and won. The Bunyan Derby was a foot race from Los Angeles to New York, more than 3,400 miles, much of it on Route 66, with the halfway point right here in Claremore. He finished the race first and won $25,000. A large portion of the museum focuses on poet and playwright Lynn Riggs. He wrote Green Grow the Lilacs, which is the play that Rodgers and Hammerstein based the musical Oklahoma off of. Learn about Lynn's Cherokee heritage and see personal belongings like his typewriter and handmade miniature theater, complete with props and people. And that was how he would stage his plays, is he would set them on this little teeny tiny stage and and move them around and adjust them so that he could block his plays. Some of the crown jewels for the museum include memorabilia from the movie Oklahoma. And yes, that is the actual Surrey with fringe on top. We actually had some people just today who came in and they went straight for it. They said, we came to see the Surrey. The Surrey came to Oklahoma for the premiere of the movie, later donated to the Riggs Memorial, as well as the dress Shirley Jones wore while riding in that very Surrey as Lori Williams. Next to it, Curly McLean's boots, played by Rich Bond. Patty Page's dress, awards, and gold record are on display next to her Hollywood star. A man who went to the stars, astronaut Stuart Rusa. Among all those well-known names are the local residents who've made the museum possible. People like Judy Smith Eagleton, a volunteer whose family owned a local favorite, the Cadet Grill. A lot of people really enjoy looking in her exhibit because it contains a lot of memorabilia from from the time, from the 50s, and, and things that people would remember from their own childhood or from their grandparents' childhoods. The museum is a really neat place to visit and really inspiring, especially when you think about how many people from Claremore have made an impact on the world who were simply family, neighbors, friends, or classmates. That's what we kind of aim for when we bring students in or when, when people come in here. I hope that they can see that they can be Will Rogers or they can go to the moon if they really want to, that there is nothing that stops them from going as big as everybody else did. At the Claremore Museum of History, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. The Claremore History Museum can be found at 121 North Winona in Claremore. They're open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, closed Sunday and Monday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. For me, it's a I always probably go towards the Oklahoma inspired things. I really like the cowboy and Indian aspect of our antique room. The most unique antiques will tell you where to find this shop. Quincy Bake Shop is a little slice of Europe in Oklahoma. Plus European pastries in the heart of the Sooner State. Well, we have a real made in Oklahoma focus. And one stop, so many different businesses see exactly what we're talking about when Discover Oklahoma continues. Imagine limitless possibilities with the Oklahoma Travel Guide. Imagine world-class wonderlands, road trips that inspire. Imagine date night, elevated. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Imagine that. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Pumpkinville, an annual fall tradition at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City, where you'll see several amazing pumpkin murals, this one of Emerald City. You know, you could literally spend hours here just wandering among the fall decorations and the activities. Another place you can wander, an Oklahoma antique store. Right now, Deanne Stein takes us to Tecumseh to check one out. At first glance, this looks like a beautifully decorated old home. But look a little closer and you'll realize it's just a grand entrance for anyone to enter. When people come in the door, we want them to see an experience. At Homestead Antiques and Gifts, Rebecca Aldrich and Haley Gibson create that experience through their love of home decor and collecting antiques. We really enjoy it aesthetically. We like the look of the old things. We enjoy finding them and considering them treasures. But then it's also the fact of you're saving something that's being repurposed, upcycled. Every room you enter has a theme. 
From the front room full of Native American inspired items to the ladies room filled with formal antiques, handmade quilts, and vintage clothing. We've got imported things, we have historical things, um, we have things that are local to the area, and so we just, we enjoy creating an experience. You'll also discover treasures in the Mantique Room with a cluster of cowboy themed items, antique tools, and rusty vehicles. For me, it's a, I always probably go towards the Oklahoma inspired things. I really like the cowboy and Indian aspect of our Mantique Room. I like the history whenever somebody comes in and says, hey, I'm shopping for this county and you get to pull all the history for them, of, you know, whether it be a plate or an old um, road map or something like that. Clay McLaughlin is one of those customers, making this a frequent stop on his circuit. I collect uh, Shawnee and Pottawatomie County memorabilia, and I'm always looking to come in and see what they have new, and they always have something new. Stroll through the dining room to see a mix of imported linens, china, state plates, and even some new pieces. We want to encourage people to to use what they have um, and maybe to use things that they've inherited, um, things that are special. In the back, you'll find the kitchen furnished with a variety of vintage housewares. Things that you may have seen in your grandma's kitchen, you know, you walk in and, and you just have the nostalgic um, experience. Along with the historic pieces, you can also buy wares from Oklahoma women artisans, like these handmade leather bags or a selection of handcrafted jewelry made with real turquoise. There's also an assortment of pickles, relishes, and homemade jellies. Rebecca and Haley have had tremendous support from the community, especially from their neighbors next door at the Farmer's Daughter Market. We enjoy getting to, you know, showcase and, and sell some things in a really high traffic restaurant. The partnership allowed them to sell antiques and gifts at the restaurant, but since opening in 2020, they're now seeing a shift in their customer base. We're starting to get our own following where people are coming into shop without just making the trip for the restaurant. And it has been a blast. We've had so much fun. Um, it doesn't feel like work at all. We're doing what we love and what we would prefer to do on a Saturday morning. So step back in time and come in and see them. Discovering Oklahoma and Tecumseh, I'm Deanne Stein. You'll find Homestead Antiques at 316 North Broadway in Tecumseh. They are open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. And after a little shopping, it's time to treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren had way too much coffee this morning. So, Parts and, and what, rec, man. <laughs> Parts and rec, yes. And there's no better place to do that than an Oklahoma bakery. Right now, Quinn Tran is going to take us to Quincy Bake Shop in the heart of Oklahoma City. Pick any pastry from Quincy Bake Shop. One bite takes you somewhere else. Quincy Bake Shop is a little slice of Europe, honestly. It's a little slice of Europe in Oklahoma. Trisha O'Donohue is the pastry chef and owner. She named her bakery Quincy after her favorite train stop in Chicago, where she went to French pastry school. She brought her talents and the art of baking home to Oklahoma City. My love is vinoiserie, which is um, a French word for like breakfast pastry. So not just like muffins, but like the croissants, the danishes, the um, queen amon, that's one passion, and then also cake decorating has always been my forte. My hands do that very well. She and her team spend hours perfecting the recipes. Every delicious item is made from scratch by hand. The croissants that include the chocolate version take two days to make. It's delicious. It's just a standard. Um, also, our almond croissant is delightful. It's like crispy on the outside. It's sweet on the inside. And then also one thing that you can only get at the Bradford House is the cardamom bilar, which is a Swedish cardamom bun. And it is like a knot of dough, just like jam-packed with cardamom, filled with a buttery cardamom filling. And then the bun is, uh, this is actually my favorite. It's just the outside, it's a little crispy on the outside, it has some good flavor to it. Uh, and then the center is just a little bit softer and you know, has, has a little bit of moistness to it. So yeah, I really like that. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, best I've had in the city, I think. The Quincy Bake Shop is located right inside of the Bradford House, a boutique hotel at 38th and Classen in Oklahoma City. The pastries here are becoming a favorite 
as well as in local coffee houses and other venues. You can find our stuff in Prelude Coffee um, and Not Your Average Joe's, um, Junction Coffee Bus, um, and then On Crew in Nichols Hills um, does our pastries on the weekend. We do wholesale as well, um, and we're just going to keep growing, and hopefully we'll do our own brick and mortar in the next year or two. Her popular pastries sell fast before the end of the day. There's no secret to her recipes, just a passion for baking. Lots of butter. <laughs> um, no, it, it, I mean, it is, it is a lot of butter and it's a lot of flour. Um, it's a lot of consistency. You know, consistency is key in anything, but with pastry and baking, I mean, you, you really have to do the same thing with your hands every time and you have to plan, plan, plan. This is what I do. This is what I will always do. I want to teach people and show people and bring that love of pastry to Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma. You'll find the Quincy Bake Shop at 1235 Northwest 38th Street inside the Bradford House. They're open seven days a week. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Small towns in America are dying and I'm hoping that this will give some people hope. Why you will want to make the drive to Wacomas. I missed my New Mexican, Mexican food. And the new Oklahoma City hotspot that will have you coming back for more. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Oklahoma State Parks have seven ways to stay. Wake up in a wall tent or yurt, sleep in a teepee or RV, lounge in a lodge, cabin, lake hut, or covered wagon. Plan your getaway at travelok.com slash parks. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're enjoying an annual fall tradition, Pumpkinville, at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City, where you'll see a rainbow and a tornado made of pumpkins. There's easy access to all the major highways from here, and if you head northwest, there's lots of things to discover. You can discover one-stop shopping. So in this one area, you can get your hair done, get your hair cut, do a little shopping for Made in Oklahoma products. You can get a bite to eat, and if you choose to, you can actually get married. And unlike Elvis, you do not have to leave the building. This place is called Buffalo Junction in Wacomas. Buffalo Junction is here because of Richard and Mo Anderson, both born in Wacomas. They wanted to give back to the community and they wanted to breathe new life and bring business and commerce back to the downtown area. They both really credit this town, teachers, um, other family and business owners really for shaping both of them into the leaders that they both became in business. One end of the block, there is the beautiful Chapel of Joy, patterned after the Paseo District Trinity Church. This has elegant wood ceilings, beams, and marvelous stained glass. It can be used for any kind of wedding, vow renewal, you know, anniversary parties, corporate. We've had corporate breakfasts. Next is Mo's place, named after the owner, Mo Anderson. She's a dynamo if you've ever met her. She's an amazing, amazing person. And now this entire city block is amazing. But back to Moe's Place, this sweet destination has become a hub of activity in Wacomas, the centerpiece around which people gather to not only get some great food, but also to visit with friends and relax. We serve chicken fried steak. We serve Salisbury steak. We have chicken tenders, hamburgers. But those desserts, pies, and cookies are homemade daily, and yes, with a lot of love. I mean, just look at all that. I'm in for it all. But you can walk off that fine food and some of the delicious desserts from Moe's Place by walking next door for some fun shopping at... The Painted Buffalo Trading Company. Well, we have a real Made in Oklahoma focus. We try to get as many different Made in, Ocl made in Oklahoma products from food items to decor and apparel. Um, but we definitely have an even larger focus on made in the U.S. products. We try to keep everything, if possible, um, made right here. This place is so relaxing, you can just pull up a seat and sit down and decide on what you want to buy. You can find some steals here along with some sweet items too. Over the Fence Farms, is, a, is a, as far as brands that we have, um, they are based right here in Wacomas. Caps, mugs, fantastic books, clothes, bath and body products, jewelry from mixed mercantile out of sulfur. It's all right here, including Katie's favorite, candles like from 46 State Candle Company, all made with a theme or place in Oklahoma. Lastly is Shorty's Barbershop. And um, we have two ladies in there that are, are do women's and boys and you know, everybody's hair. So it's for everybody, not just a barbershop, but we wanted to kind of recreate that old timey uh, memory. So hit the trail and spice up your next trip. You will be jumping for joy. You came here. They love the laid back feel and the, 
the good food and then the small town charm. You will love it. You'll find Buffalo Junction at 111 Main Street in Wacomus. Learn more at their website, buffalo-junction.com. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's basically a southwestern soup made with hominy. Tex-Mex meets New Mexican. We'll show you where when Discover Oklahoma continues. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. What an awesome fall day we've had here at Pumpkinville at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City. And you know what time it is. Mm. It's about that time. It arrives about the same time every show, <laughs> so it's time to get something to eat. And right now, Shelly Mills is going to take us to an Oklahoma City favorite, Hacienda Tacos. <laughs> From tacos to fajitas, if you are looking for an out of this world experience, come check out Hacienda Tacos. The selection here is great. The atmosphere is great. Everything's clean. Owner Robbie Vernon grew up in Roswell, New Mexico. He moved to Oklahoma for college and decided to stay. But there was always a bit of home he missed. I missed my New Mexican, Mexican food, which is a red and green chili. After years in the restaurant business, he decided to open Hacienda Tacos, starting this location in early 2020. Uh, this was a very vibrant part of town, and it's just now getting back to that um, very slowly. Hacienda Tacos is located just north of downtown Oklahoma City in Midtown, at the corner of Northwest 11th and Dewey. What we liked about it was everything was good. With a broad menu of New Mexico and Tex-Mex style food, there is always something new to try. With the combo platters, you get two, two things on one platter. So you get the opportunity to try two different things in one sitting. They offer fajitas, a wide variety of tacos, stacked enchiladas, and even stuffed sopapillas. This soup is another favorite. We do a really good pozole and a green chili stew. It's basically a southwestern soup made with hominy has a bunch of different vegetables and uh, green chili and red chili. And then we top it off with um, whatever meat you like. Customers also love the nachos made on individual chips. So it's not just like this plate of chips when everything's just thrown on top of it. The restaurant bar is full of options, including a vast menu of mezcal. But we have more mezcals than any restaurant in the state. They smoke brisket and pork shoulder daily, creating the incredible meats for many of the menu items. And while you eat, there is always throwback 80s music videos playing throughout the restaurant, making Hacienda Tacos a great place to come experience. In Oklahoma City, Shelly Mills, Discover Oklahoma. You will find Hacienda Tacos at 1120 North Class and Drive, and they are open seven days a week. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to our friends here at Pumpkinville and the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City for hosting us this week. Pumpkinville is in its last weekend for this year, so if you want to come, get out here on Sunday. You'll find pumpkin painting along with other crafts or ride the Pumpkinville Express. Can't make it this weekend? Visit the Myriad Botanical Garden grounds anytime. Plan your visit at their website, oklahomacitybotanicalgardens.com. Coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, popularity is picking up on a traditional sport, fencing, and we'll show you where you can learn this ancient art. And we're getting a glimpse inside the newly renovated Quartz Mountain State Lodge. That's next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. And there's no place like home. <laughs>